Just because we live in a barn doesn't mean we have to act like it. <laughs> King friends and welcome back to my channel for another episode of the Poison Garden Legacy. I am so excited because this part we officially begin the second generation Lily of the Valley um, with our little heiress Miss Lilium. So I am super excited about that and I hope that you will be as well. Um, if you are new here my name is Morgan and I love playing with Berry Sims and this challenge was really written by Rose Supposes Sims, and I'll link her channel down below, and you should definitely go check it out. She has started her own Poison Garden Legacy with a little bit of a twist. Um, it's a Poison Garden Apocalypse Challenge. It's really fun, so you should definitely check that out. But I love that this challenge inspires you to play with some more like negative traits and it's not so sweet and delicate like a lot of family gameplay that I tend to lean toward. If you're new and haven't watched this series before, I highly recommend you start it from the beginning as it is quite story driven and there's for sure some drama that you'll want to catch up on that'll help make everything make a lot more sense. Yeah, so little Miss Lilium as a toddler has not had the most luck with her animal friends, but it seems like so far they're a little bit more receptive to her in a child form. Oh, I say that and <laughs> uh, this wild rabbit's done having it. Wisteria, who was our Generation 1 heiress, has officially met all of the requirements for her generation, which is why we're officially starting Generation 2 today. Um, so I'll revisit the you know, <laughs> what we've accomplished as well as what we need to accomplish with Lily. But I did notice that Lily, although she was trying to help do the dishes earlier, uh, she did break the sink. So we're going to go ahead and repair that. Now, last time Lily got into a bit of a fight with her mom because she ran off and Wisteria is very overprotective. She's terrified that someone's gonna discover that she had a daughter Lily because up to this point you know no one really knows that Lily exists and she wants to keep it that way. All right so as I promised I wanted to take a look at generation two requirements Lily of the Valley um, which is about sweetness and tears. Here's the little blurb. You've been shielded from the world but a chance encounter as a teen made you dream of a bigger world than your family plot. Running away on your 18th birthday you find the big wide world may be uglier than you dreamed. So our colors are green and white. Our traits need to be foodie and squeamish plus our choice. We already got the, um, I forget what it's called. Yeah, there we go, music lover. Uh, so we already uh, grabbed our extra trait. So her next two will be foodie and squeamish. She needs to, her skills to max are the wellness and baking and her aspiration is soulmate. You become infatuated with the first stranger you meet as a teen, sneak out with them. They will be your only external contact until you move out. Give them the non-committal trait. They should never become a boy or girlfriend or marry you or even share a room with you. So our living situation rules. Your teen obsession takes you in when you run away on your young adult birthday, but it's an unequal partnership that leaves you as lonely as you ever were in the wild. Once you move out, you may not have any contact with your parent. You effectively become a live-in housekeeper, cook, and then nanny when you have their child. Baking is your one outlet aside from your love for your child. When your child ages to a child, <laughs> you steal enough money to leave. You may cheat if necessary to have the funds to buy a basic starter home under 20k in a new neighborhood where you know nobody. A kindly neighbor offers support and a second chance at love if you can let yourself trust them. Um, so making money, you may not have a job until you get your own place, then you may take any part-time jobs, uh, job or jobs to support you. Um, if you have the cupcake machine, you can sell cupcakes to the bakery to make money for your escape slash life. So some extras, your children should never eat quick meals, always cook as many recipes as possible and make sure to bake a cake for every birthday, write a cookbook for cottage living and as a child befriend a wild animal who is your only friend until you move out. So I definitely want to do that because, you know, um, yeah, she's a lonely little girl. So that is what we have lined up for Miss Lilium. 
She does have the painter aspiration, so she made this cute little art last part, so we'll hang that up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get her to um, come cloud gaze because I want her inspired so we can reach the next part of her childhood aspiration. She doesn't really have, you know, a whole lot in this world, so I by all means want to try to give her a leg up by at least letting her pursue the arts. And I feel like that might bother Wisteria a little bit because of course that means that she has to do all of the farm chores. I feel like that garden glitch happened again. It's driving me insane. Um, we should have some plants here growing and they're not here. Well, let's feed our chickens. So while Lily is daydreaming about her future and having friends, um, Wisteria's, you know, feeling a little bit frustrated that she's not helping her with the farm chores. Who knows what that drama that'll cause as she continues to do all the things. Although with this plant glitch, it may not matter because we can't really do diddly squat. I guess it is winter. Did I not change out the... Maybe I just never changed the plants over to winter because these are all out of season. No, these are in season, some of these. It's definitely kind of glitched, but some of these are out of season. All right, Lily is officially inspired, so let's come have her draw people. Oh, Bella Llama, my little drama llama. You're fine. So yeah, I feel like Lily is making up imaginary friends, drawing pictures of people, just trying to, you know, connect with a world that she's never really been a part of. Hey, hey, we got that aspiration. What's next? Looks like we need to play with three toys. Okay, let's see if we can hang up this painting here. Hi there, little Miss Rabbit. Let's see if we can't become friends with Magnolia because <laughs> I really want her to have a little animal friend. Maybe the key is to give gifts. Um, we have not a whole lot. Oh, we have some spicy mushrooms. Let's. Try a regular mushroom that we uh, picked. What's our mom doing? All right. Let's see if Mag. <gasps> she liked it! Yay! Okay. So let's just have a quick little chat. What are we talking to? Stereo. Just chatting. Well, I'm glad they seem to be in a little bit better mood. Despite having to do all the chores, Wisteria seems to be understanding that, you know, it's hard for Lily to grow up in complete isolation, so that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete some of the toddler blocks and maybe get some other toys. And then I might also um, delete some of these out of season plants. Let's see. All right. So what toys should we get? I feel like I want to get her the dollhouse, the, the cardboard one, because that just seems like something that, you know, would be applicable, like they, they would be able to make that. All right, Lily, come play with some dolls. So I feel like Lily is telling a wisteria about her imaginary friend that she's invented. And <laughs> Wisteria seems a little worried because um, she, what is she saying? Complain about the technological apocalypse. <laughs> oh, she's distilling her with more fears. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, they're kind of bonding and they're both talking about things that are of interest to them in a sense. Um, let's go ahead and have her apologize for freaking out about um, Willie taking off and she's like, you know, I just want to keep you safe. I'm really worried about you. There's big bad people out there in the world and I don't want them to hurt you. Like, let's be smart about this. I'm sure we can come up with a 
reasonable compromise. And so I feel like, you know, Wisteria comes and looks over the ledge here and sees, okay, I can kind of keep an eye on you within this first little tier of the uh, downhill. There's even a little picnic table. Like, you can go so far as that. Um, you know, just, you know, stay where I can see you. Don't go past that. And I feel like Lily is more than happy to, um, listen to that she's just happy that she has permission to go a little bit further than you know their little fence so she's gonna go ahead and grab her violin because uh wisteria doesn't really care for the awful noises she makes so everyone will be happier if she comes out to this little picnic bench to practice her instrument it only takes you know an hour for her to get down the hill but hey, I mean, I wish that worked on her fitness skill or something, running up and down that hill, it sure ought to. All right, so now that we're down here, let's go ahead and practice our violin. And we are inspired, so that's bound to be helpful. Oh, she's so cute playing. I have to grab some screenshots of our cute little Lily. Sounds terrible, but she's cute. I wonder if she has any other things that she can kind of plant. Oh, we should breed frogs. And that's probably kind of it. Ooh, pomegranate. Ooh, I think we needed that. Did I already plant a pomegranate? I forget. Apple tree, cherry tree, avocado. <laughs> We're running out of space for all of our trees. I guess we could just stick it here. Oh, I guess it just improves her creativity. It's not a separate skill. Children's skills just baffle me a little bit. Like, why can't they start learning real adult skills? Like, playing the piano is not going to drastically change as a child to a teenager. Like, it's a violin. <laughs> Are the bunnies going to try to steal my crocus? Are they going to do what bunnies do and breed? <laughs> All right, I feel like that was some good, solid practice that Lily got in. Let's have her come clean up this plate, work on those, that responsibility. She's not going to school. She's home, well, not even homeschooled, like homeschooled. So she really doesn't have a whole lot of opportunities to do these different things. Um, but I am grateful for the fact that even though she's not going to school, it's not like hurting her responsibility. But then I suppose we should try to find something to make for dinner. Oh, let's cook together with Lily. She is going to learn how to cook. Well, hers is going to be more baking. Ooh, chickpea mac and cheese. That's cute. It's like, since we went to the market and bought some stuff, we can like actually make food. Huna casserole takes level 10 skill? <laughs> That's like such an easy recipe. That doesn't even make sense. All right, well, I feel like we should make some, let's do scrambled eggs with bacon. Okay, hurry up. I wanna see you guys cook together. Can they do it? Are they gonna do it? And I doubt Lily will get any cooking skill, right? It's just for fun and cute giggles. There we go. Only took 20 minutes. Let's make some eggs and bacon because we have lots of eggs from our chickens. Who's calling Lily? Oh, it's her mom, but she doesn't know she exists. Uh, that's sweet. We know the truth. We know that she called. Wow, okay, she's joining cooking, but really she's just like watching her mom do all the work. All right, Bella Llama, you can't run away. I'm gonna give you something that's super special and cute. <laughs> you look like a beautiful Bella Llama. So yeah, don't run away now. You guys, you you feel very loved now, right? Because I gave you the cutest little outfit. All right, um, can we not shear her wool? Oh, we can, cool. Gotta get that wool. It's a big source of income around here. 
All right, looks like we're asking for advice about a missing toy. Um, I feel like she would say keep looking for it because that will keep her entertained as she looks for it. Um, yeah, do that. Oh, we have a new sentiment, I think. Aw, uh, yeah. Look, they seem to be doing better since their little curse scuffle. Who knew that a cold-blooded murderer... <laughs> well, she kills for a reason. Just we may not agree with it. But who knew that she had a little soft heart and is playing dolls. Not even with her daughter, just all by herself. Just, just playing dolls. <laughs> we love to see it, uh, Wisteria. A little confusing, but you, you... <gasps> oh, the little brat made a mess. Can we uh, scold her or is it too late? Teach a valuable lesson. <gasps> um, well, it doesn't look like we can, so we're going to teach her to say sorry because you made a big mess. Even though it's outside, that's like right in our pathway. We're going to be tracking in paint all day long. And we, just because we live in a barn doesn't mean we have to act like it. <laughs> and we're teaching her to say sorry in the like tiny little outhouse of a bathroom. Wow. Huh? we just became good friends. Oh, did she just smack herself in the face? Take it easy, girl. I mean, maybe it's just because you're playing in the dark. Dark dim, smelly bathroom, and you just, you know, didn't have any hand-eye uh, eye coordination depth perception, but you did it again. Um, okay. Maybe you shouldn't play in the bathroom. Did that at least count? I think so. We need to play with one more toy. What would that be? Okay, come clean up your mess here. Alright, girl, you should really go to bed. Oh, cyanide's getting on in years. I mean, <laughs> baby's breath, we got that pop up for like a literal year before she died, so I'm not too worried. Arson chick is also getting up in years. I'm sure all of them, because we like purchased them all around the same time. So Wisteria is having extreme travel withdrawal. I'm sure she would love to go back to Granite Falls, but unfortunately, she really can't go there anymore. Or like, she can't leave. Like maybe once, Maybe once Lily is a teen, she can go back because she wouldn't worry as much about leaving Lily on her own when she's a little older, but she wouldn't leave her that long for right now. And she can't take her with her because she can't risk Laurel discovering that, <laughs> hey, this daughter of yours looks a lot like me. Uh, you know what I mean? So we'll have to, yeah, I'm sorry. I know you're bored. You want to go travel the world. And by travel the world, you just really want to go into the forest because that's like your little safe haven. Until Lily came along and messed that up because you couldn't stay there anymore. That's okay. We love you anyway, Lily. I kind of feel bad because Magnolia is also like Wisteria's friend, like more so, but I don't know. She's a cute little white rabbit. Why can't we... You know, she's she's actually liking us, so we'll give her another gift. Why can't we... Oh, we can't give back to back? Can we take a gift? I guess we have these sculptures, so we could give a sculpture to Magnolia. Give her a nice little a bunny sculpture. Here's a little friend for you. All right, they're definitely, they're, they're improving their relationship slowly but surely. Which is good, I don't want Lily to be all alone. Nope, nope, that didn't work. She just likes us for our gifts. So I saw that it was an option to like beg for more toys. Let me see if she still has that option. Yeah, because we need one more toy to reach to the next part of our aspiration. So let's see if we can beg for a new toy. What the heck is that? Is that supposed to be like an Eiffel Tower? That's kind of cool. All right, so I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to beg for a new toy because we just really want something new. Oh, she seems like surprisingly okay with it. I think she just feels bad for Lily. Like, she feels bad that she doesn't know her other mom. She doesn't have any friends. She can't really do anything. So she feels guilty. Like, sure, I can buy you another toy. 
you only have a couple. That would almost be fun. I wonder if she can do that. Yeah, so you guys should let me know down below, like, is that something we should do with Lily? Should we have her become a little scout and see what badges she can earn? Like, if you've done that before, will that work with our current restrictions since she can't really leave or make friends? Is that something fun we could do? I'm going to go ahead and get her, I think, this little pony toy because that seems like something she would enjoy. There you go, Lily, your new toy. Presents tomorrow. Oh, is it like, it is almost Winterfest. Okay. Um, <laughs> we are going to have probably a lame, I should have like saved the toy for that, but that's okay. That's okay. She can have a new toy. It's an early present. That's what happened, okay? So Wisteria is like, well, tomorrow is Winterfest. I can go ahead and give you your present early, you know, because I want to make you happy. And so that's what happened. Here's your little pony present for Winterfest. Enjoy. Play with your little rabbit. All right. Let's feed our cow plant before I forget our broken... Oh, no. Did it actually die? I don't know. Did that count yet? Alright, so we need to play an instrument for a total of five hours, draw off all five picture types on the activity table, and achieve level 10 of the creativity skill. Exciting! Alright, time to get her violin practice in. And we have to do it for five total hours, so I don't think she'll get five done today, but we can hopefully make a little dent. Oh, hey! We're in compliance with our neighborhood action plans! Cool! Wow, we're already level 9 of the creativity skill. I guess just that tiny lot <laughs> coming in for the win. Um, so we just need to, yeah, knock out the time. Uh-oh, looks like maybe someone got upset with the dollhouse. That or the wild animals were trying to use it as their home. All right, I think we're just about ready to, there it is, max star creativity skill. Laura wants to come hang out. I'm sorry, Laura. We don't know you. You do not exist. You do not know us. All right, we are two hours in. I think I'm going to wait for it to roll over to three and then I'll call it a day with the violin at least. Well, you guys, I think we're going to go ahead and leave this episode here. It is a Winterfest Eve, and so I feel like there's going to be a little bit of some disagreements happening in the morning because, of course, Lily dreams of doing cute things in the village to celebrate the holiday, and I have a feeling that Wisteria is going to have some other feelings about that. So. We'll definitely check back in with them in the next part and see how everything plays out as Lily continues to get older and really just wonder what more is out there in the world that she hasn't been able to uh, uncover or discover due to her mom's, you know, <laughs> overbearing ways. So I really hope you're enjoying this series. Please let me know down below if you have any suggestions. I'm especially interested in knowing what you think about the whole um, scouts situation for Lily. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and until next time, happy simming!